the history of the entire oh, world. A rock floating in space. Pretty cool, huh? Some of it's water. Fuck it. Actually, most of it's water. Fuck I can't it. even get from here to there without buying a boat. It's sad. I'm it's sad. sad. I miss you. How did this happen? I miss ago, you. Actually, what the never. heck? And also now, nothing is nowhere. When? Never. Makes sense, right? Like uh, I said, it didn't uh, Makes no nothing sense, okay? Anywhere. That's why it's been everywhere. It's been so everywhere, you don't need a where. You don't even need a when. That's how every it gets. That's how every it gets, damn, son. It's blinding me, though. Can we go out of every, please? Please? Forget this. I want to be something. <laughs> go somewhere. Do something. I want things to change. I want to invent time and space. And e I know it's possible because everything is here, and it probably already happened. I just don't know when here. to start. And that's exactly where it started. Oh, I paused it. I think there's a universe now. What's it made oh. of? Quarks and stuff. Oh, Quarks that's a thing. Stuff. In a place. Don't like it? Try a new place. At a different time. Try to stick together because the world is going to get bigger and emptier. God damn. But it's not empty yet. It's still very full. And this about is trippy. Great. Can you imagine the editing for this? Someone went, literally went like, yeah, let's make it as trippy as possible and fuck with things because why not? News, the quarks are now happily married in groups of three, called a proton or a neutron. And there's something else flying around too that wants to join in but can't because it's still too... <laughs> it's still too Great news, hot. the protons and neutrons are now happily married to each other. Some of them even doubled up. Great wow. news, the electrons have now joined in. Congratulations, the world is now a bunch of gas in space. But it's getting closer together. You could say they farted. Ayo! And it's getting closer together. And it's getting closer together. It's a star. New shit just got made. New some stars shit. burn out and die. Bigger stars burn out and die with passion and make some brand new way crazy. <laughs> I love that. Something's born with passion. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. What the heck? I like the fact that they're basically saying that we got all of these elements invented back then. Your shit. Which allows new space and more interesting dust. stars to be made and then die and explode into so Bruh, I swear the editing was snorting space dust. <laughs> now you need a space fairy to sprinkle some space dust. Now stars have cool stuff around them, like rocks, ice, and funny clouds, which can make some very interesting things. Like this ball of flaming rocks, for example. Holy shit, we just got hit with another ball of flaming rocks. And it oh. kind of made a mess, which is now. Weather update, it's raining rocks from outer space. Weather update, those rocks might have had water update. inside them and now there's hot steam in the sky. Weather update, cooler temperatures today and the floor is no longer lava. Weather update, it's raining. What Severe the fuck, flooding alert. The entire man. world is now an ocean. Volcano alert. That's land. What the? Alert. What? Something's alive in the ocean. Oh cool, like a plant or an animal? No, a microscopic speck. It lives at the bottom of the ocean and eats chemical soup, which is being served hot and fresh. Chemical soup! <laughs> Bruh, this ending and the... <sighs> the comedic way of like just... Announcing things is genius. I love it. Fresh, made from gnarly space ingredients left over from. Does anyone want some soup? Oh yeah, and it can do that. It has secret instructions written inside itself, telling it how to build another one oh. of itself. So that's pretty nifty, I would say. That is very at the nifty. Of the ocean. Now you can eat sunlight. Using a revolutionary technique, you can convert sunlight into food. Taste the sun. Side effect: now there's oxygen <laughs> everywhere, and the sky's blue. Then the earth. <laughs> Oxygen ever and the sky's blue. Oh, taste the sunlight. I need to taste some sunlight. I haven't gone out in a while. It might have been a snowball for a while, maybe even a couple of times. It's a sponge. It's a plant. It's a worm and some other types of weird, strange water bugs and strange fish. It's the blue, blue, blue. explosion. Is the what explosion wow, that's now? And stuff. But we're still in the ocean. Hey, can we go on land? No. Why? The sun <laughs> is a deadly laser. Oh, okay. Not anymore, oh nope. man, that 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 tickled my ears. The whole no. <laughs> the animals can go. We on got land. ozone on, let's now. Go on land. Nope, can't walk yet, and there's no food yet. Can't so walk. Care. There's no food. Okay, learn to walk I don't care. Okay? Maybe said some bugs and fish. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine making the sound effect for the fish going like. 
Okay, so I can go on land, but I have to go back in the water to have babies. Learn to use an egg. I was already doing that. Use a stronger egg. Put use a stronger egg. egg. On land, in an egg. Water is in the egg. Baby, in the egg, in the water. In the wow. Egg. Works for me. Bye bye, ocean. And now everything's huge, including both. Everything's huge. Land? Sure. Oh, fuck. Now everything's dead. Just kidding, you're the survivors. <laughs> Keep your eye on this one because it's about to become the dinosaurs. Here's another map of the land. Yeah, it broke apart. Don't worry about it. it doesn't this is time. really it cool. And the dinosaurs are gone. Damn. It's mammal time. Here come the mammals. Look at those breasts. Now they're going to dominate the world. And one of them just learned how to grab stuff and walk. No, like walk like that and grab stuff at the same time. And bang rocks together. Oh, to please. Ouch. And set things on fire. Fire. And make crazy sounds with their voice. Which can mean different things. Bow chica wow wow. And now they're everywhere. Almost. Ice age. What? You can walk over here? Cool. Not anymore. <laughs> I guess we're stuck here now. Let's review. There's people on the planet. And nice. Chasing their food. Fuck it. Time to plant some grass. Look at this. I control the food. What the heck, man? The history of the entire world is so epic. Vulcan, thank you for the sub. Now. Now everyone will want to be my friend and live near me. Let's all build houses, except mine is bigger because I own the food. This ah, is great. Of I course. if anyone else is doing this. Tired of using rocks for everything? Use metal. It's underground. Better farming was just invented in a sweet dank valley right in between these two rivers. And the animals are helping. Guess what happens next? More food. And more people. Who Survival. Now you need people to help make the food and keep track of the sales. And now you need houses nice. for people to live in and people to make the houses. And now there's more people and they invent things, which makes things better. And more people come and there's more, more farming. People. And more people. To more, more farming. More people. And more. Now there's business, money, writing, law. This, this looks like my rim world. <laughs> this literally looks like my rim world play for. Power. Society. Coming soon to a dank river valley near you. Meanwhile, out in the middle of nowhere, the horse is the first crafting dang. survival Why is game. Yeah. So lame and lumpy. Tired of using lame, sad metal? Introducing bronze. Made with special ingredient tin <laughs> from the far lands of Tinland. I don't know. My dear, tin won't tell me where he gets it. Also, guess what? Egypt. Meanwhile, out in the middle of nowhere, they figured out how to put wheels on a horse. Now we're getting somewhere. Also, oh. China. And did I mention? In this river valley civilization. The Middle East is getting more complicated. Maybe because it's in the middle of the East. Knock knock or clop clop. It's the people. <laughs> clop clop. <laughs> this is really cool. Seeing like all the civilizations forming and the animations for this are pretty cool. You play Rimworld? Yeah. Also, Rimworld's harder brother. With the horses? And they made an empire. And then everyone else copied their horses. Greeks. Ah, oh, look, it must be the Greeks. Or a beta version of the Greeks. Let's check in with the, the Indus. Beta version. Oof. Guess who's not gone? China. New arrivals in India. Maybe it's those horse people I was talking about. Or their cousins do, do, or something. Do, 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 do. And they wrote some hymns and mantras and stuff. You could make a religion out of this. <laughs> no, not the fortress. The other harder variant of it. <laughs> Damn, I really like the civilization spawning and popping all over. This makes me, unironically, makes me want to play Crusader Kings. Like, god damn it. There's the Bronze Age collapse. Ah. Can get down to business. Also, can we switch to a metal that's a little easier to find? Thanks. Look who came back to Israel. It's the 12 tribes of Israel. And they believe in God. <laughs> Just one, though. He's got like a 10 step program. Here's some huge heads. Must be the Olmecs. The Phoenicians make some the colonies. Commandments. The commandments. Jesus idea Christ. The Phoenicians made a colony so big it makes colonies. Here comes the Assyrian Empire. Never mind. It's the Babylonian Median. It's the Persian Empire. Wow, that's big. Wow. I was, I was gonna say, like, holy shit, that kind of like immediately went from one to another. <laughs> Which one? I'm confused now. Okay, I'll give you a hint. It has cultivation in it. Ah, oh, the Buddha was just enlightened. Who's the Buddha? This guy who sat under a tree for so long that he figured out how to ignore the fact that we're all dying. You can make a religion out of this. Oops, China just broke, but while it was breaking, Confucius was figuring out how to have good morals. Ah, the Greeks just had the <laughs> idea of thinking about stuff. I love this, man. Imagine you're just like... You're just a pebble in the sky that's just watching Earth do its thing and it's like, oh, oops, that, that thing kind of broke. Oh, there's fire over there. Oh, someone invented something over there. Bing, bing, there's something happening over there. This is like so cool. And right over here, Alexander just had the idea of conquering the entire Persian Empire. It's a great idea. He was great. And now he's dead. Hopefully Tax the rest of the gang will yeah. be able to share the empire evenly between them. Yeah, that is evenly all right. But yeah, thank you so much, Tax Brand. Welcome in. <laughs>
Knock knock, it's Chandra Gupta. He says, get the hell Sh out of here. Will you get who? the hell out of here if I give you 500 Sh Chandra who now? Thanks, bye. Time to conquer what the heck? That's a lot of elephants. Most of India. That's a lot of elephants. But what about this part? That's the Tamil Kings. No one conquers the Tamil Kings. Who are the Tamil Kings? Merchants who are they? Merchants. And they've got spices. Who would like to buy the spices? Me, said the Arabians, swiftly buying it and selling it to the rest of the world. Hey, China puts uh. it back together again with good morals as their main philosophy. Actually, good morals. Main philosophies. Go with the Out flow, here, fuck the you, pay the law. And, free, and they would like to ransack your city. <laughs> Let's check the Greekification level. <laughs> they would like to ransack the city. Man, this is looking more and more like my Crusader Kings playthroughs. I love this so much. Of the Greekified kingdoms. Greekification overload. Bye, said the Parthians. Bye, said the Jews. Hi, said the Parthians, taking over the entire place. Hey, said the Romans, eating the entire Mediterranean for breakfast. Thanks for invading our homeland, said the Jews, who were starting to get tired of people invading their homeland. Oof. Hi, everything's great, said some guy who seems to be getting very popular. He's been arrested and killed for being too popular, which only makes him more popular. You can. Glossing over Christianity and Jesus is like hilarious. <sighs> oh. Make religion out of this. Want silk? Now you can buy it from China. They just made a brand new road to a silk road. Let's go. Conquering Vietnam. Sick. New trade routes, said India, accidentally spreading their religion to the entire southeast. Mm, that's a good place for an epic trading kingdom. There goes Buddhism traveling up the Silk Road. I wonder if it'll reach China before it collapses again. <laughs> the Persian Empire? Yep, said the Persians, making a new one. Axum is getting so powerful they would like to build a long stick. Has anyone populated Madagascar yet? Let's do it together. I like this so much. <laughs> I love the fact that China's is like... Well, it's time to, to change things up. Oh, it's time to change things up again. Oh, we're now we're back together. No, Still never mind. Hair desert? Try camels. Hell yeah, now we got business. Said the Ghana Empire, selling lots of gold and slaves. Hi, I live in the Roman Empire and I was wondering Is loving Jesus legal yet? <laughs> Actually, okay, sure, said Constantine, moving the capital way over here to be closer to his main <laughs> rival. Don't worry about Rome, it won't fall. It's the goal. <laughs> There's the Gupta oh. Empire, not Chandra Gupta, just Gupta. First name Chandra. The first. First name Chandra. <laughs> oh my god, the history of the entire world animated is so good. I like this a lot. Guess who's in Rome? Barbarians. What's a barbarian? Non Romans, said the Romans. Being non Romans. RIP Roman Empire. Or actually, just half of it. The other half is just fine. But it's not in Rome anymore, so let's give it a new name. The, uh, the Byzantine Empire, let's go. Oh, and here's a huge city. Population everyone. The Gok Turks have taken over the entire Eurasian steppe. Great job, Gok Turks. How's India? Good broken? job. How's China? Back to <laughs> India broken. China glued. Together. How's those trading kingdoms? Bigger and there's more of them. Korea has three kingdoms. Japan has a kingdom, it's the Sunrise Kingdom. Damn! In the Arabian Desert, on the top of a mountain, the real god whispers in Muhammad's ear. So he goes down to the cube where everyone worships- <laughs> Why the fuck is he on fire?! Ah. ...gods and he tells them their gods are all fake. And everyone got so mad at him that he had to leave town and go to a different town. You can make a religion out of this, and maybe the conquer heck? the world as well. The Roman Empire is long uh, gone, yes. but somehow the Pope is still the Pope. Plus there's new kingdoms all over Europe. I wonder if- Whoa, that is like so many things popping up all of a sudden. China's history is crazy. Honestly, I'm not very familiar with China's history, but it does look very crazy. If there's room for mores, here's all the wisdom. In a house. It's the Baghdad House of Wisdom. Just in time for the Islamic Golden Age. Let's bring stuff to the coast and sell it and become the Swahili on the Swahili. Oh my god. I love the fact that it even shows you what type of spices and trades is happening. Coast, said the Swahili on the Swahili coast. Remember this tiny space you have to go through to get from here to there? Someone owns that now. Want to get enlightened in the middle of nowhere? The Franks have the biggest kingdom in Europe, and the Pope is so proud that he invites the king oh. for Christmas. Surprise, you're the new Roman Emperor, said the Pope, pretending to still be part of the Roman Empire. <laughs> then the Franks broke their kingdom into what will later be called France and not France. The Northerners, or just ah, yes. if you don't have much time, are exploring. They go north, from the north to France the and not north, France. and they find some land, two types of land, and they name them accordingly. They also invade some other places and get called many names, such as Viking. I love this. And they name them accordingly.
They also invade some other places and get called many names, such as Vikings. There's the Rus, the Kievan Rus. Are they Vikings? I don't think so, said the Kievan Rus. Okay, fair enough. The Pope is ready to make some more emperors of the Roman Empire. The of course, of course. The, the, the Pope is like, ah yes, me and Rome, you know, we, we gotta... We gotta keep being important and appear everywhere. Atlas, thank you so much for the nine decades. I appreciate you. And hi, Cyber Knight. The Holy Roman Empire. It's actually Germany, but don't worry about it. New Kingdoms. All the kingdoms. Which brand would you like? Mine's better. Mine's better. Mine's better. <laughs> I'm England, said William. It's a bird. <laughs> Meanwhile, my country getting both of them. We got both brands. We, c we couldn't decide, man. Bird, it's a plane. It's the Seljuk Turks, <laughs> said the Byzantine Empire, who's getting so small it almost doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> To listen to this one again. It's a plane. It's the Seljuk Turks. <laughs> said the Byzantine Empire. <laughs> I love the whole. <laughs> Who's getting so small it almost doesn't exist anymore? We need help. They need help. So they call the Pope. Hey, Pope, can you help us get rid of the Seljuks? Maybe take back the Holy Land on the way? Come on, I know you want to take back the Holy Land. Yes, I do actually want to do that. Let's do a crusade. Crusade. They did many crusades. Some uh, of which yes. almost didn't fail. But at least the Italians got some sweet trade deals. Goodbye, Mayans. Hello, Toltecs. Goodbye, Toltecs. Hello, Mississippi. Look at those mounds. Damn. There's the Pueblo. I always wondered how to build a town in a cliff. Guess what's here? What the here? hell? Where? Where? Here. The town is so there. cool. Vietnam unconquered itself. Korea just became itself. And Japan is so addicted to art that the military might have to take over the government. China just invented <laughs> bombs and typing. And the Mongols just invaded most of the universe. Nice going, Genghis. I bet that nice. will last a long time. Some of the Islamic Turks were unaffected by the Mongol invasions. I mean, technically they lasted a long life. Because they were busy invading India. Is it Tonga time? I think it's Tonga time. I just Wait. found out where the Swahili gets all their gold. Look at this Chad. Means lake. There's an empire there. Right in the middle of the... Africa. There's an the empire in Africa? So rich, he's going on tour to let everyone know. Wow, that guy's rich, everyone said. The Christians are doing a great job reconquering Iberia, which will soon be called Spain and not Spain. Please remain Christian. We will check in later to see if you're still... <laughs> Please remain Christian. Christian, when you least expect. Whoops, half of Europe just died. Makes me play want to play Crusader Kings 2 so badly. F maybe free as well. Maybe it has enough expansions now to make me want to play it more than two, but Jesus Christ. China's back, yay. Hey, come here, time to share. New kingdoms here and there. Oh, look who controls all the islands. It's the Mahajapit. Majahapit. Mapajahit. Mahapajit. Mapajahit. Majapahit. Oh, Italy's really rich. Time for them to care a lot about art in the ancient. I feel that. I feel that so hard trying to pronounce some words. <sighs> Ancient classics. It's kind of like a rebirth. Here's a printer. Let's make books. So you think you can conquer the Byzantine Empire? Yep, With books? Yep. Nice job, Ottoman Turks. Oops, you missed a spot. Don't forget to ban Europe from the Indian spice trade. What? That's bullshit, said Portugal. Spiceless. Well, I guess we'll have to find another Did way. Did they really go all the way around the world Wait, for spices? Probably smoking crack. If the world is round, let's go this way to India. No, don't worry. We already got this, said Portugal. So Chris goes to Spain. Hey, Spain, want to hire me to find India by going around back of the world? No, please. No, please. No, please. Okay. So he sails into the ocean and discovers more ocean and then discovers the Indies and Japan. Let's draw a line to decide who gets which half of the world. The Aztec and Inca empires are off to a great start. I wonder if they know that Europe just discovered their continent. The Habsburgs are marrying into so many royal families they might have to start marrying each other. Move over, Lithuania. Here comes Moscow. Ivan wants to make Russia great Jesus again. Who are the Timurids? Maybe go invade India or something. Persia just made Persia Persian again. Let's make it the other kind of Islam. The one where we thought the first guy should have been the other guy. Hey, Christians, do you sin? Now you can buy your way out of hell. That's bullshit. <laughs> this guy should have been the other guy. Hey, Christians, do you sin? Now you can buy your way... <laughs> Indulgence is only $40,000. <laughs> oh, don't tell Capcom, Damn, indeed. That's bullshit. This whole thing is bullshit. That's a scam. Fuck the church. Here's 95 reasons why, said Martin Luther in his new book, which might have accidentally started the Protestant Reformation. You know what would oh. be magnificent, said Suleiman wearing an onion hat? What if the Ottoman Empire was really big? Which oh it is my now. god, it's actually an big, onion hat. Biden trying not to be terrible. Portugal had a dream that they controlled the entire Indian Ocean, including the spice trade. And then that dream was real. And Spain realized that this is not India, but they pillaged it anyway. Damn, said England and France. We gotta start pillaging some stuff. Then the Dutch revolt and all the Jesus hipsters moved Christ. to Amsterdam. Damn, said Amsterdam. We gotta is that 
why Amsterdam has so many hipsters. Damn. I start pillaging some stuff. The more Question you learn. One, can you get to India through North America? No, but at least there's beaver. Question two, steal the spice trade. That's not a question, but the Dutch did it anyway. Sugar. Guess where all the sugar's made? In Brazil. Stolen. In the Caribbean. Stolen. It's so profitable, you might forget to not do slavery. The next thing on Russia's to-do list the is to get fuck? bigger. Britain and France are having a friendly discussion about who should control the entire world. More specifically, Ohio. Then it escalates into a seven-year discussion, giving Prussia a chance to show Austria who's boss. But what about wow. Britain and France? Did they figure out who's boss? Yes, they did. It's Britain. Guess who's broke? Also Britain. So they start <laughs> taxing the hell out of them. <laughs> yes, it's also broke. Man, the history of the world speeding up. I America. love this. Fuck you, says America, declaring their independence and fighting for it. And France helps them win. Oh. And France is broke. And Britain will have to send their prisoners to a different continent. Wait, if France is broke, why do the king and queen still wear such fancy dresses? Let's overthrow the palace and cut all their heads off, said because they can. cutting everybody's head off until someone eventually got mad and cut his head off. You can make a relit. No, don't. Haiti is starting to like the idea of a revolution, especially the slaves who free themselves by killing their masters. Why didn't we think of this Let's before? Let's go! Wait, who's in charge of France Why didn't now? we think of that Napoleon before? Napoleon tried to take over Europe. Luckily, they banished him to an island. But he came back. Luckily, they banished him to another island. There goes Latin America, becoming independent in the Latin American Wars of Independence. Britain just figured out how to turn steam into power, so now they can make many different types of machines. Hey! Steam started that early? Damn. Oh wait, different steam. Never mind. Romania and Bulgaria are a part of the history. No. We got conquered a lot. Some trains and Don't worry India about and it. Maybe put some trains there. Hey, China, said Britain. Buy stuff from us. Nah, dude, we already got everything, says China. So Britain tried to get them addicted to opium, which worked, actually. But then China made it illegal and dumped it all into the sea. So Britain threw a hit <laughs> fit and made them open up five cities and give Jesus them Jesus Christ. Britain and Russia are playing a game where they try to stop each other from conquering Excuse you? Also, the Sultan of Oman. I like how they're playing chess over there. That's just where he lives. India just had a revolution, and they would like to govern themselves now. Nope, said Britain, governing them even harder than before. Just sent you a message for a wire. To go crazy. The hey, United States finally figured out whether slavery boom. is good or bad. It's bad, they decided. And then they continued manifesting their destiny, which is to kill the rest of the natives and take their land and maybe kick out the Mexicans too. I know, let's rape Africa, said Europe, scrambling to see who could rape it the fastest. They never got Ethiopia. Damn. Britain and France are still hungry. They never got Thailand. The United States. They never got Thailand! Bruh! Why is it whispering as if it's the devil? Why? States ran out of destiny to manifest, so they're looking for more. Hi, Cuba. Wait, Spain controls Cuba. Well, blame something on them and go to war. What should we blame on Spain? Let's blame the main on Spain. So they blame the main on Spain. Now we're in business. Wow. To celebrate, they kick Panama out of Panama and make a canal connecting the two oceans. Britain just found oil in the Middle East. It makes cars go. China is so tired of being bossed around that they delete their old government and make a new, stronger government, which is China, what the fuck? China's literally like, we're gonna cannibalize ourselves and and glue ourselves back together every single time. Definitely weaker and controlled by a guy from the previous government. Europe hasn't had a war since the last war, so they start World War One. Look at those guns. <laughs> this is the last war. war. So great, we won't need a second one. After it's over, they blame Germany. Russia went on strike, and the workers overthrew the government. Mm -hmm. Now everyone's paycheck is the same. Communism. In the Soviet Union, the Arab communism was gold. Cool. We Empire had the quality so back then. Jewish people a place to <laughs> or so they want to see. Hopefully, the Arabs won't mind. Let's cut the cake, said Sykes and Picot, carving up the remains of the not so Ottoman anymore empire. Except Turkey, Turkey makes a brand new Turkey. And then the Saudis conquer Arabia. <laughs> Turkey makes a new Turkey. And the only thing I could think about was let's stuff the Turkey. Ah. Uh. My mind is not where it should be. Yeah, it just seemed like the right thing to do. Hello? Yes, it's the 1920s <laughs> caller. Let's get in the car and drive to a party and listen to jazz on the radio and go to the movies. The economy's great and it'll probably be great uh, forever. Just kidding. Germany's back featuring... The Great Germany Depression, and let's go. And he's mad at the Jews for existing. Japan is finally conquering the East, and they're so excited they raped Nanking way too hard, they should probably just deny it. Hitler's out of control, so the international community tackles him and tries to explain why killing World War II, let's idea, go. But he kills himself before they could explain it to him. That's World War II. Bonus round, Pacific Showdown. United States versus Bonus Japan. round. Fight. Extinction Ball. Let's unite all the nations God damn. Peace. Seems legit. Hi, I'm Gandhi, and if Britain doesn't get the hell out of India, I'm going to starve myself in public. 
Wow, that worked. Bonus, now there's Pakistan. Actually, two Pakistans. One of them can be Bangladesh later. The Jews and the Arabs finally figured out which one of them Christ. should live in the Holy Land. Me, they both said at the same time. Let's divide up the land so everyone's happy. Psych, they both get angrier. Look out, China. There's a new China in China. What's on the menu? Com yeah, that worked well. Communism, yeah. Communism. No thanks, said the other China, escaping to an island. I wonder which one is the real China. There's the Korean War. Korea versus Korea. Nobody wins. Then it's on... I'm like, I don't think you want to wonder about that one too much. Hmm. Yeah. Forever. Let's meet the sponsors. Oh, it's the two global superpowers. They're having a friendly debate over which economic system is good and which one is an evil virus of Satan. And they both have atom bombs. Fight! Wait, no, that would be the end of the world. Let's just keep it cool and spy on each other instead. Let's keep it cool sure with the Cold War, Jesus Christ. The animations are so freaking good on, on like what's happening and giving you an idea of things. It's like, I'm impressed by the editing of this video, honestly. I'll race you to space. Now let's make some more countries fight themselves. Europe is tired of pillaging other continents, and the continents they were pillaging are tired of being pillaged. So here's a new map with new countries. Now you can't tell who they're being pillaged by. The United States finally decided whether racism is good or bad. They decided it's bad, and the world agrees. South Africa might need another minute to think about it. Let's check the world population- <laughs> South Africa might need another minute! <laughs> Bruh! Whoa. Okay. <sighs> Technology's better too, that might keep happening. The Soviet Union decides to relax a little. Population too apart. high. Europe makes a union, so now they can all use the same money. Except Britain, 1999, they don't feel like it. let's, let's go. Check the Surprise, it's on the computer. Whoops, someone just attacked America. I bet they'll remember that. Phone call. Surprise, it's in your pocket. Wanna learn everything? Surprise, it's on the computer. Now your phone's a computer, which is in your pocket. Whoops, the economy Jesus just crashed. Christ. Don't worry, the big banks won't fail because they're not supposed to. Surprise, flying robots. With Flying robots. Brain. Some people have no friends. Some people have no food. <sighs> Bruh. Why, why is it showing loneliness again? And starvation. The globe is warming. And the ocean is full of plastic. Let's save the planet, Lovely. everybody, not knowing how. Let's invent a thing inventor. Nice. Thing inventor inventor after being invented by a thing inventor. That's pretty cool. By the way, where the hell are we? Well, we're back to the present. I don't like it. Can we go back? Can we go back to when we used to be ju just a Meg in the ocean? <laughs> that was a cool video. Definitely, like, an interesting way to, to tell history. Yeah, definitely an interesting way to tell history. I liked the animation of it. It made me want to play Crusader Kings 2. And, um... Yeah. That... Fuck. <laughs> I gotta play Crusader Kings too though, don't I?